Good evening. Church is canceled tomorrow, Sunday, January 21st, 2024, due to the weather. I'm recording this short devotional message for our online uh, platforms. Two weeks ago, on January the 7th, we started a sermon series on 1 John, and we noted that John is one thing not like the others. He is an outlier. He names himself the disciple whom Jesus loved in the fourth gospel. His gospel is not like Matthew, Mark, and Luke called the synoptics because they see the life of Jesus and record it the same way. John's comes from a completely different perspective and it reads differently. The apostles were martyred, killed for their faith, all of them except John. Tradition has that John lived a long life and died of old age. It could be why the fourth gospel finishes with Jesus giving a prophetic utterance to that effect. And First John is not like the other two epistles that it's bundled with. First John is not like Second John or Third John. It is more of a homily than an epistle. In fact, First John resembles the Gospel of John. It's almost like a companion to the Gospel of John. And we might see it in how the Gospel of John and 1 John are written in their prologues or their introductions. The three main topics in 1 John are Jesus and sin, righteousness, personal morality, and love, our ethic, how we treat other people. And in uh, the be, the beginning of 1 John, in chapter 1, verse 7, John uses the word picture light, one of his favorite concepts to, to um, illustrate or explain spiritual truth. He talks about walking in the light in terms of our personal morality. And then in chapter 2, verse 10, he he picks up that same word picture of light and talks about light in terms of our loving one another as demonstrating our being children of light or walking in the light and not darkness. But there is nothing in First John that corresponds or uses light to explain or teach about Jesus being the incarnation of the Son of God in a body. However, the Gospel of John uses it. He is the true light which shines. And you can read in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, 4 through 13, in how John develops the incarnation or the manifestation of the Word, the Son of God in Jesus Christ, and uses the word picture of light to do that. Maybe when we are reading verse John, the Holy Spirit through John is dependent upon the Gospel of John. That is, the Gospel of John is a prerequisite, or First John is written assuming that the readers know the content of the prologue of John so that he does not have to expand upon the doctrine of Jesus being the Son of God, using light. He already did that in the Gospel of John. All he needs to do is write a summary statement, God is light, which he does in 1 John 1, 5. So that may be a way to understand a relationship between 1 John and the Gospel of John. I hope that is helpful for you. And um, I hope that you have a, a safe weekend and we will see, hopefully, um, everybody next Sunday on uh, January the 28th for our worship time. Thank you.